Welcome back everybody to Alpha Survivor. So we are starting here on the morning of day 17. Last night we've done so much work on our base. We finally got the roof in. As you guys can see up there. We need to still upgrade it more though. But I don't have enough concrete mix yet. But this is what's going to offer me protection from the vultures. And of course I also still need to get myself some spike traps up there as well. Now... It, is it done? Oh, I have it in my inventory already. Okay, let's take this very quickly. So this is going to be our escape route. Let's see. Can I put it on the outside? Because I don't want them jumping up and then just bashing the door. Why can I not place it there? What's going on? Oh, it's because I was there. Okay, Um, I'll tell you guys what. Let's go up like this. There we go. Perfect. Very perfect. It's a shame that it opens inwards, though, I have to admit. All right, let's take that back. Now, let's go back in our base. So, for today, I'm th I'm not quite sure what we're going to do. Uh, one second. Can I reach the top one? Uh, no, no, no. no. Okay. Yeah, I don't want to waste any of them. Luckily, they didn't destroy, though, because they were, like, hanging on the edge, kind of. Okay, let's move this back. Now, I have got lots of food to eat, so let's do that very quickly. So as I'm sure you guys can tell, I well my axe has taken a lot of damage from where I was chopping down all these blocks. So I'm thinking I might actually just leave these blocks here because it might offer additional protection in case the vultures do manage to break through. I have in fact already broken through the first layer. That was before making that decision. Now, let's quickly repair this. And we're also going to upgrade these very quickly as well. Okay, all of those are upgraded. Let's see. Do I have any in here? Um, some. Uh, what? Okay, I'm going to first upgrade the ones over here. Because this is where I'm basically going to be placing my turrets and stuff. And that's all. We don't even have enough to cover the entire thing. It is what it is. Let's put the remainder back in there. But this is bad. I've just done what would be considered a goof. So, that's all the cement I have. Which is actually, in fact... A very bad thing um, because now I only have three which can be used for repairs so that is not good for me so the reason I've left these out here is because if they do eventually break through which they shouldn't do because we're gonna have two bars which will be 5,000 HP in total and having two means that I can always have one to fall back on and then repair the other so it should only break if I've been negligent. But that does happen while you're, like, killing a bunch of zombies. So if they do come up, well, if they do break through, I'll lead them up here, fight them back slowly. I'm going to put some more defense, like, maybe some more doors. I don't know, that kind of thing. And this will be on my escape route if I ever, if, like, a bunch of them have swarmed in. And then I can escape using that. But I'm thinking over here, maybe, like, along this area, I'll have, well, maybe down there, I'll have dart traps... I'll have uh, the turrets rather than have that there. Uh, there is a perk where if you max it, you can have two at once. So you can have two turrets or two sledges or one sledge, one turret. It's all good stuff. Now, our inventory is good. Unfortunately, we don't actually have a mission yet. We still have these. Oh, you need to be holding an axe for this lumberjack mission. That's fun. So, where is that? I don't, I don't know. It must, it must have been deactivated somewhere. Or maybe it's because I'm not holding an axe. I don't know. But let's just wait until the trader opens up. Okay, guys. While we're waiting, I'm actually going to get myself a bunch of these going. So this is robotic turret ammo. But unfortunately, it does use quite a bit of iron. So, obviously, we've currently got the sledge. But I don't know if for the next horde, I'm going to be auto, you know, just going straight to the turret or not. It is what it is. Let's just go to the trader. Actually, we'll first grab all our stuff that we're going to sell him. Okay, let's see what he has in his vending machine. Some more sugar bots. I'll take that. More eye candy and more jailbreakers. I'll take those. That is good stuff. Now, this is not his restock day as far as I know. Yeah, it's going to be day 19. But that is what it is. Does he have anything else that I want to buy? Probably not because I might have bought it all already. He has some more forged steel, but I've now got the crucible. I'll buy the cement. Quit but first. In my time. Shut up. This guy is so impatient. 
Christ. And I forgot to bring a revolver with me. It is what it is. Messier inventory. Let's sell all of this very quickly. Okay, now, what was it I wanted to buy? It was something. There was something that he had, and it was the cement, of course. Let's buy all that, and what else does this man have? So he has another iron spear. That's fun. But all of this, basically from here, is the stuff that I've sold him. So let's check this. No, he doesn't have anything that I want, apart from maybe the forgetting elix elixir. But I cannot afford that at all. Uh, so then, let's oh, just take a mission yeah, from the yeah. guy. I mean, we can be done if you want me to be. Clear zombies. Ooh, a gun store. Now that is fun. Okay, so it is to the south. So I'm thinking we also do visit the other trader as well. Okay, now let's visit the trader. Man, it would be so, so hilarious if we could rob the guy. So it seems he's backed up by the Duke of Navasgain, and that's the guy who like, robbed us of all our stuff previously and tossed us onto the streets. Now, what does he have? I'm hoping he has some cement at least. Though it's looking very unlikely at this point. We've still got our bartering thing. We'll buy more of the rebar frame blocks because that saves all our wood. And yeah, this guy does not have anything else that I want, which is unfortunate. Save but it is what it is. There was no point in making a wasted trip anyway. Well, it wouldn't have been a wasted trip, but you know, there's no reason not to be as efficient as possible with our stuff. Now let's toss those two away and let's head on over to the rally point. So I've just seen this, and I'm wondering. Oh no, it's stone. I was I was hoping that this would be crushed sand, but look at this. This is actually pretty good for stone anyway. So I'm going to be doing this very quickly. There is one of these little dudes, a coyote. Oh, one shot headshot. Good stuff. Let's reload. And then we'll resume digging this out very quickly. Well, mining would be more accurate, I guess. Alright, there we go. So I don't know exactly how much we got, but it's definitely over a thousand. It might even be nearly two thousand. Okay, we'll have to... Sell that trigger mod. Uh, actually, let's take the paper and we'll simply toss them both into our storage for now. Let's head on over to the rally point. I'm ho so I'm thinking that probably all of the stuff in the desert is going to be crushed sand. So I don't know. I might have to just do a big digging spree at some point. And here's a wolf. Let's run him down. Bush. That should be enough to refuel my bike. There we go. Beautiful stuff. Now, let's just toss the rest in there. I'm not going to get the rest of the cars. And we'll search it again. <laughs> but I'm not going to take it apart this time. I'm going to leave the feathers there for now. We can get them if we have the space later on. What's in here? Oh. Oh. Poor dude. Whack, 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 whack. <laughs> okay, let's close that and we'll search in here for now. So, bar brawler. Okay, we already got that one. So, it is what it is. But, you know. Okay, is there a stash in here? No. No, this is just some office. There was a woman in both of those places. How fun. I wonder if it was females that were uh, manning this store. Or if, they sim or if the people who worked here, you know, they bring in their... You know. Ooh. Oh, so I can actually search this. Oh, very nice. We'll scrap that for now. And we can search the gun rack too. Another iron spit. We'll scrap it. Okay, that's all of that searched. Is it, Can I search this? Nope. I wasn't to be that lucky. Equipment rack. Okay, I'm going to triple pocket mod. Guys, let's have a quick look. See what we got. There we go. And boom. Now we can never be over encumbered. That is banging. Okay, so some iron boots, but they're only level one. And they're not worth much. We'll scrap it and we'll take these to sell. Now, is there any more up front? No, that was the only ammo display case. But we can search this. We'll scrap that too. It is what it is. And search this. Yay! 
Military boots. Those sell for a good price. So I'll take those. So I don't think they're better than what I currently use. So I'm not going to take them for now. I guess it really was just a bunch of females that were working here. So, before any of you say anything, no, I'm not one of those guys. It's just, you know, you don't often, well, I, I live in England personally, I've never been to a gun store. But, you know, from watching TV and all that stuff, I always figured it was more a predominantly male thing. I mean, of course, I can be wrong. Don't hold it against me. I apologize for offending anyone. I feel like an idiot for saying it, but I don't know. It's just, it came as a surprise. Now, obviously, it's down to the spawning mechanism on this game. It's not because the developers have decided, all right, this place is going to have a bunch of females in it. Oh, level 5 AK. Let's uh, take off the two modifiers on here then. So, this level 5 will have three modifier slots. And I'm pretty sure that we actually... Oh, oh okay. So, we already had that anyway. But I'm pretty sure there is another mod, in fact, which is pretty swag. Uh... However, now I have no... Sorry, there's another mod that I want to put on my AK-47, but I had no space before. However, now there's no point to having all of the... Um, all of the machine gun parts that I had, because a level 5 is the best that you can make anyway. Uh, let's lockpick this. There we go, we only broke like freaking 50 of our lockpicks. That was ridiculous. Truly ridiculous, and we'll scrap those. And we'll sell the silver nuggets. A level 6 iron knuckles. That is fun, guys. So I don't know if this was a main stash or if, because this is a gun store, it's going to have several such stashes. I don't know. It depends on our rip luck, really. We'll sell, we'll sell that and we'll sell this because that's also worth 132. So it's good stuff. A domed trash can and a freezer. What could be in here? A can and some paper. We'll sell those. Now, this is working, though. But I'm never coming back here, so I might take it apart. <laughs> okay, poor idea. Poor idea. That was a poor idea. I should not have done that. I did not know that would happen. My god. Ugh. Like, I swear that I've taken apart... Ooh. Nice! Let's use that recipe. So, I swear that I've taken apart working ones before. So, maybe it's a chance that they will shock you or won't shock you. I really don't know, guys. Okay, so this seems to be the way out to the the gun range itself. Now this, nice. Okay, let's search this area first. Get the ammo piles. I don't know why there's there's archery stuff in, in a gun range. You know, maybe they supported both. Who knows? Oh, oh. I think she managed to hit us. It is what it is. And there is a big lad over here. Well, he's dead now. So it is what it is. Now let's take this. And what else do, do we have? Let's quickly use uh, this. Get up here. See what's up here. Okay, I'm definitely mining these out. Oh, if only it did three damage more. Man, that would have been a one, uh, one swing mine, I guess. I don't know what you want to call it, really. Okay. Um, so, okay, there is also still that part of the building. So, I'm going to go back now, and we'll go explore that area. And I completely missed that this one dropped loot. Some forged steel. That is very nice. Eleven of it, too. Like, that's not the amount you kind of normally get. Now... What I am going to do before I explore the other building, though, is go back to my bike and unload. So I'll see you at the other building. Oh, here comes the airdrop. Now, where is that going to come down? Please be on the way back to base. No, but it is relatively close, so it's not too big of an issue. We will have to make a detour, though. Now, let's go on over to the next part of the gun store. So, obviously, we still haven't finished searching it. Now, annoyingly... This lumberjack is on the outside, so of course he's not going to affect the mission. But 
I can't kill him either. Actually, let's see. Okay, it's not much true ability, so we're good. Whoops. Is he dead? He's dead. Now, let's dig up all these. I didn't see this at first, but luckily that lumberjack was there. Otherwise, we would have completely missed this. Now, what the cliche is that there's going to be a, a stash right there. Yeah, there is. Okay. Now, let's smash down this box. And we can jump up over. And there is some dude here. Well, not any longer. Because he's dead now. And there is a gun store box. So that is even better. Very nice. And okay, okay. Armor plating mod. Now, this one. We have more spaces on. So I'm putting that on there. And we're good. Now, have I searched both dumpsters? I have. Now, let's search the white sedan. Really got anything interesting, so there's no more space in my car. But let's just stack anything that we can, and we're good. That'll have to do. Now let's search this new, this other place of the gun store. Okay, we're gonna have to bust through. There we go. And there is another display case for us to search. Another rat remover mod. Those are always good though. And a wooden bow plus 15 scrap. Sorry, 15 iron arrows. So I suppose I'll keep it for now. One second. So we don't we've not really done much archery in this game, and I think this is the first wooden bow that we've ever got. So see so yeah, it, no matter how you look at it, this is much slower than using the club. Like using archery during a horde, it's not gonna work at all. But it is what it is. It is what it is. Let's get back our arrows because I do want to scrap them for more iron. There we go. Now, these are really hard to get back. Now, let's scrap this. And I'm going to scrap this for the parts. And then maybe in the future, we'll make another one. I don't know. Now, okay. So, it is the case there's multiple stashes. Laser sight mod. Boy. Yes. And a level 5 double barrel shotgun. Very nice. And a bandolier mod. So, guys. We have one more slot. Let's put that straight on there. Now, oh, oh, boy. Oh, that is very nice. So this is increased aim. Oh, so it shows that the aim does wander a bit. So that's good to know. Now, it's, this time I'm going to bash into it because we're low on lockpicks. And the last time, we just, we used too many lockpicks. Honestly, guys, thank God we have a steel pick at level 5 now. Otherwise, that would have taken much longer. And here's a level 3. Very interesting. We'll scrap that, and the level 3, we will also scrap for more wooden bow parts. I mean, I'm pretty sure there's a much... So, I think there's three grades of bow. The primitive bow, I don't think it's called primitive, but the bow that we can manually make ourselves, And then the wooden bow, which is the upgrade. And then I think there is one more after that. Okay, destroyed workbench. So, I'm not sure how you get the one that's after the wooden bow. I do know it's much better, but I think if I am ever going to do archery, I'll have to save all my bow parts for the later bow. You can still see the airdrop there. Now, what are these? I'm going to take apart the workbench very quickly. There we are. And is there anything else in this room? So there is that, but that is open. There's nothing inside it. And is there anything up there? No, it doesn't look like it. So I think that's this entire room. Let's move on. How many's in here? Quite a few. Including some bikers who have a lot of health. I take that back. When they're up against a steel club, they don't have a lot of health. So, <laughs> get wrecked. Oh, that was a nice amount of nails right there. Very nice. Let's smash open the shotgun massage shield. Spray. And what is inside? A iron spear. But we'll scrap that and we'll take this. Now, I'm going to have to scrap this for the parts. Because it's not worth much. Actually, no. It's only worth 15. It's a hard choice. Okay, this one's also locked. So we have to lockpick that very quickly. Now, as I said, we've got level 5. But we can't make anything higher than level 5. There's not much point in scrapping them for parts anymore. So I don't know what I should do. Okay, that, that lockpick worked the first time round. Level 6 stun baton. Let's sell that then. And... This is worth some money, so we'll sell that too. Improved fittings mod. Okay. 
Let's put that straight in here so that we can reserve the space. No, you can't put that on there. It is what it is, guys. Mobility. Higher mobility is also nice. Ooh. Ooh. Mate. Ooh. Nice. How much is this worth? Oh, it's because this is low durability, so we'll scrap it then. Another insulated mine uh, liner mod. We'll take these and another grave digger mod. And I do have the grave digger mod on on my thing, don't I? Yes, I do. Now, uh, what did I want to do? Let okay, I think I know what I wanted to do. So can we put this on there? Yes, we can. Good. So we just save space, and we're going to have higher cold resist, which is good. Because our closest trader is based in the snow biome. And most of the missions he gives us are based in the snow biome. So that is swag. A SWAT town. That's worth a lot, so I'll sell it. And it'll probably only scrap into polymers otherwise. So, yeah. Okay. So, we're starting to get bad on space. And some more club parts. We don't need that anymore, though. Because we have a level 5 club. So, I'm just going to have to sell all the club parts we get from now on. Or maybe I'll store them. Uh, just in case I accidentally somehow lose my current club. I don't know. I mean, I shouldn't manage to do that, but things can happen. Okay, yeah, so we'll scrap this. More club parts. It's good for space. 20% chance to cause bleeding damage. 40% with power attacks. Okay. Uh, yeah, we don't have base. We'll have to wait until we have a level 6 club, but I'm sure even then there's a better mod for the club than that. So, I don't know. And is there anything else in this room? But from the looks of it, there is still more to kill, though. So, uh... Oh, no. Let's get this very quickly. There we go. And we'll smash this for metal. And we'll smash this for the metal. And this for the metal. And this. Wow. Not much metal, but it's worth doing. Now, okay. So there is, in fact, 1,000 hit points on this. Yep, yeah, I figured I'd go for the fast route of doing that. Now, where is it? Like, ah, uh, okay, okay, okay. I got you, I got you. <laughs> that sounded funny. They're going to bust straight out the side of that, aren't they? Yep. They all dead? Yes, the return to trade mission is now here. Uh, so, we... Oh, actually... It's wood, which means it's going to be a stash inside. Yep, a sealed shipping crate. Oh, hidden stashes. Ooh, ratchet schematic at last. Oh, damn. Level 6 iron chest armor. Let's put that away for now. We'll take, actually, let's put the price amp from the seed away for now. We'll take this. Now, guys, this is also level 6, but this is much better. Bruh. Okay, so, for now... I have to do that so that we can sp uh, switch over the mods. Okay, I'm going to move them over very quickly, guys. And uh, we'll complete that. Now, modify this lovely little thing. And put it there. There we go. Now, we can wear this and we'll sell the level 6 scrap armor. And we'll take these back. Thank you very much. Now, there's not... Wait, there... No, okay, so they just they smashed out a boat out of both on the side. Okay, that's that mission done. Now, guys, our inventory is full. But I don't have to make a trip all the way back over. Luckily, we were able to stack stuff, so we're good to go get the airdrop as well. Here we go. Here's the airdrop. And I think I actually saw a cracker book on the way here, so we might have to explore that. We'll take this schematic. And we'll have to sell the other two schematics. Now, looking at our inventory, though, we're not doing good. So even though we found a cracker book, there might be no point. Is this a cracker book? Or is this Shamway? Yeah, that's Shamway Foods. That's perfectly fine, then. I don't care for Shamway. Like, obviously, food is food. Food is good. But, you know, we're, we're doing good on food, especially because we keep getting ambushed by animals. So we're always good for food. Now, let's get back on over to the trader. We need to eat some more food. And maybe we can take another mission as well. Alright guys, we're now back at the traders. And before I came in, I've also got all the stuff that I want to sell in my inventory. But it is already 5pm, so if we're going to take another mission, we have to be fast about it. Okay, so level 5 wooden bow. So that is pretty sick. But the vitamins, the vitamins, 
are used for my horde. So, and I don't use bows. So I'm going to have to take this even though... Oh. Now that is a tough choice then. It's worth 712. I'm still choosing vitamins. Oh, I have no space in my inventory. Okay, let's sell him some of our stuff very quickly. Oh, no. I didn't want to sell my steel club parts. I shouldn't be selling those. Ugh, they were they were too much to me personally. Now we can sell all the machine gun parts. We'll sell the SWAT helmet. We'll sell the grave digger mod, and I let's pick up this. Not so bad after all. Now we'll sell him the other stuff as well. Getting quite a bit of coins for this, guys. There we go. So we've got like six thousand from that run. Uh, I don't want to sell any of these for now. Like I don't think they stack in effect, but. It well, is what it is. Oh, actually, yes, there is. Do you have any more jobs? What's nice and close? If okay. Agree to help yeah, I'll do that close mission then because it's already pretty late and I don't want to be coming back after the trader is closed. So, I don't know. Maybe we can do more work on the base. So there's not much work to be done. We go. So, we have not done a tier one mission in a very long time. Let's enjoy this. There we go, we found the food stash. Actually, before we take that, let's secure a way out of the way. Yeah, because in the current way that I've uh, made my thing, we're not getting out. Okay, there we go. And we'll wait for our stamina to regen as well. Now, what's this? Pumpkin bread recipe. And what's this? Grandpa's learning elixir. Very nice. Okay, we'll take the rest. So, we recently got the learning elixir schematic as well. It was definitely in this episode. Let's kill these dudes. They're both dead. And, and there's this final person. Now, let's head on over to that buried treasure mission. We've had that going for ages, but we never actually did it. Okay, we're here at the buried treasure. Let's kill... Well, we killed a stripper just then. Now, let's start diggity dig. Because I want to be back at the trailer before they close. There we go. We finally found a damn treasure cache. Now let's pick lock it. Okay, now let's see what goodies are inside. A pipe bomb, some more uh, Juice Casinos ammos, the uh, Juice Casinos tokens, and we'll scrap the iron arrows. So it, there, there wasn't much, but you know, six thousand Juke's tokens is pretty swiggity swag. Now, okay, so there is actually an airdrop over here that we previously didn't get. So, that's good stuff. Let's get it as well to make this a less wasted trip. Now, I don't know if we even can get back to the trader in time because it's already half past nine and we're a thousand kilometers away. Lovely. If only that didn't take so long to do. Now, let's take all of this. I ain't got time to inspect what I've got. We need to race over and... Yeah, I okay, I don't think we're going to be able to do it today. Okay, so we've only got 25 of these iron spike traps made. They do actually take a very long time to make. So let's start placing them down on our roof. So obviously 25 is not near enough for the whole roof. So I don't even know how many it is. So I've got about 100 going right now. I'm hoping that will be enough. If it's not, we can always make more. It's no issue. We have plenty of iron in our forge from all the times that we've been having it going. So let's put that there. We'll upgrade it and now let's dig around this and we'll put the cobblestone there so i'm not thinking the zombies are going to start attacking my turret for whatever reason they are going to be far more interested in me but you can never be too careful like i don't want my poor turret to just suddenly come down to the floor and break because that'll be a waste of a turret now do we have enough flagstones i'm thinking this might take Nine, actually. It could take eight if I'm lucky. Maybe even less. Yeah, it took, it took eight because I already had the central block. Now let's upgrade these. And I'll put the rebar down. I want to make this about five high, I'm thinking. 
There we go. Now let's upgrade these two very quickly. And we're good. Ooh. There we go. So I'll have the tur turret up there. Now let's also start upgrading what's around here. Though we are, of course, short on concrete. If it, if that is, you know, I do want to at least cobblestone, though, of course. But if we can't get it cobblestone, I mean, if we can't get it concrete, then that is perfectly fine. We still do need to prioritize the roof, of course. Okay, yeah, we're good. Let's get the rest of the floor done. So, I'm hoping that before the horde starts tomorrow, we will level up once more, then we can go into Inf Robotics Inventor again, and then we're going to be good. And we can build ourselves, what level was it? Level 4? Something like that. A level, sorry, a quality 4 robotic turret. Yep, that'll be very good. And we'll replace that with that, and let's see. I already have 11 robotic parts. Now, shall we see what the robotic turret mate takes? Only eight parts. That is swag. Right now, I can make level three. What I want to make is level four, though. So let's put all this stuff away very quickly. So, guys, I think I am going to be ending this episode here. If you guys would like to see more, you know what to do. Just leave a like and subscribe. And please help support the channel by telling your friends, family, and fellow gamers about as well. And I'll be seeing you guys in the next one. Peace.